Now we all have our favorite car brands out there, but there are also some car brands that, uh, let's just say we'd never be caught dead in. And me and Evo have come together today to bring you the three car brands that we wouldn't touch with a 10 foot barge pole. I'm Aiden. I'm Evo. And you're watching God Next. What is this awesome looking SUV you brought? A piece of British garbage, basically. And why do you think I've brought this today? Well, yeah, basically. It's green like a trash bag, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, this is a 2023 Land Rover Defender. And according to consumer reports and things like that, this is one of the worst SUVs <laughs> yeah, you can it buy. It scores a two out of five in reliability and is the 15th out of 19th worst luxury SUV that's full size that you could buy based on consumer reports when it comes to price, reliability, maintenance, and overall satisfaction owning the vehicle. And I'm not picking on the Defender solely here. I'm picking on Land Rover as a All brand. That includes the Range Rover models, the Evoque, the Defender. Especially the Evoque. Yeah, the Discovery, you know. They all have a fair share of problems. I actually had a friend once who had a hybrid version of the Range Rover Sport and it got le it got lemon lawed. So he had the car for about a year and a half. It was in the shop more then he actually had it. So he had a loaner diesel more than he actually had the hybrid, which I've, just goes to show how bad these are. <laughs> I've heard horror stories and I have personal experience with Land Rover, Range Rover. My father used to have a mechanic shop strictly for European cars. I've watched people go bankrupt and I'm not, I'm, that's not an understatement. <laughs> I've watched people go bankrupt because you fix one thing on these turds and something else breaks. Oh, something else You breaks. fix your suspension, all oh, the engine's gonna take your, a poop now it's just not the, these cars are not unless you're a 35 year old <laughs> beverly hills milf that buys it new and leases it for five years you, you probably don't want to buy one of them <laughs> it's so bad i mean recently land rover has switched over to using bmw engines for their range ro full-size range rover models well they used to the, back in the early 2000s oh that too and they recently started using the n63 4.4 liter v8 in their full-size Range Rover models. They covered poop with more poop. Yeah, basically. Basically what they did. All right, what do we have in front of us now? We have a car brand I would never set foot in, and I have a personal vendetta against this car brand. Well, is that because they killed off every single good car that they've ever sold? Yeah. Because that's basically yeah. what they did, and they replaced them all with crossovers. cheap crossovers and SUVs. The Eclipse was a legend. The Eclipse <laughs> GSX, 4G63 uh, turbocharged four-cylinder all-wheel drive. Now it's a CVT inline four with no turbo and it's a crossover. This is an Outlander. And the reliability is not that great either. It's not Ooh. as bad as Land Rovers, but it is not great. And the worst part about it is, is honestly the fact that they got rid of all their good cars. That's why I would never buy one. And they're cheap. Not just their price, but the interiors are literally cheap. If you want, you could spend the same amount buying a Toyota I was or a Honda say, yeah. and get better quality yeah. than what you can get out of Mitsubishi. And in fact, that's why this brand is dying in the United States. I don't think Mitsubishi is going to be selling cars for much longer, at least in the United States. No. And you know, it, and that's fine because Mitsubishi's they have Mitsubishi Electric and everything like that, which they have plenty of business in the U.S. But they're not going to be selling their cars for much longer here because they just don't sell at all. I can't actually remember any Mitsubishi dealership here in the Las there Vegas is. Valley. Oh, it's Johnny Rockets. Johnny Legends. Or Johnny Legends, that's what Johnny it is. Legends. That's the there, only one. There is one, but the thing is with Mitsubishi's is there is zero incentive to buy a Mitsubishi over a Honda or a Toyota. There's no reason you would and buy they depreciate. one. They're way worse. Nobody, nobody will buy it from you yeah. because nobody wants one. They're just, these are horrendous cars. And yeah. like you said, the interior is just cheap. The infotainment system sucks. It's from like 2010. And it's just not, it's not it. And I don't want you guys to think we're raving about it because it's cheap. There's nothing wrong with cheap cars. But the problem is this is cheap. They've cut it, every Cheap materials, but possible. they're asking a price range where you could get a car that's much better. Right. They've it cut every, no every corner possible on these cars, which is why they don't sell in the United States very well at all. One of the worst cars you could buy is a Mitsubishi Mirage. Just look it up. Yeah. Just look it up. Finally, the final car of this uh It's not list. just the car, it's the final brand. The brand, the yes. Final brand, Evo, Kia. This may trigger some people, and if you're a Kia fanboy, I'm sorry. But there are like two cars that I think I would consider maybe. EV6? No, I wouldn't even consider I would look at them. Yeah. The EV6 GT, if I was even looking at EVs, and the Stinger GT. Right. That's it. This specific car right here, I personally hate the Soul. 
I just don't like them. And we drove this, and it doesn't it doesn't do anything. Right. Like it's not. And this is the GT line. This is the most expensive one you could buy. There's nothing but plastic. It's just why. Yeah. The the problem is is this is so Kia has gotten better. But one, they have a huge theft problem for ones that I think are pre-2019. Well, Kia and Hyundai. It, Kia, Hyundai. You could steal it with an iPhone cord. Like, and a screwdriver. All you have to do is yeah. rip the housing off and jam a screwdriver in and start it. And, the and put your cord in there and start the car. <laughs> yeah. Or the iPhone cord, yeah. yeah. But the, another problem is, is that Kia is just in general, um, unless you're spending a ridiculous amount of money, they're just not very nice in general. No, and, no. and the Stinger is an exception. But honestly, for what you can buy like a used you know, mid-size five series or like an A6 that competes with the Stinger GT, they're, they're the same price. And, and yeah. you're kind of like, you're missing on all that performance if you go with the Stinger. And, and I used to like them, but now I'm just realizing, and, and then you have cars like the Soul, which, no. There's this, cars out there, the Seltos, they have massive head gasket problems for no reason. Now, there's gonna be somebody in the comments. I'm already reading it in my head. <laughs> Well, Kia and Hyundai have a 10-year, 100,000-mile warranty. Why do you think they, they have that? <laughs> Why do you think they have that? There is literally no cars from both brands I would buy. Like, I'm being serious. And it's, I'm not trying to, like, say, oh, they're cheap, so I wouldn't buy them. I said it earlier. It I don't do mind cheap price. cars. Yeah. It's not the price. It's what you're getting for the price. And Evo is one to talk because he owns a $400 Mercedes that he drove to work today. Yeah. So those were the three brands that neither me or Evo would buy at all, whether it's reliability, price, feature set, whether it's anything. I don't think I'd own any of those. No, th you? there's there's just better options. Oh yeah. There really is. I mean, the worst one I, I think for me is Mitsubishi. Oh, probably. By yeah. far, because there are, I would genuinely buy an e-bike before I buy a Mitsubishi. <laughs> e I'm sorry, at least I'd get my my legs would get ripped. I would. I'm um, serious. I think I would buy a twenty. I think I'd buy a two thousand six M five before I bought that Mitsubishi. And even though I'm looking I have at a an ten, M6, an M5. even though I'm looking at a ten thousand dollar seized engine, I'm going to have to replace. I'd rather buy an E sixty M five yeah. over yeah. any of those cars. For it just, just <laughs> it feels like driving the the Mitsubishi and this. It honestly, and this is going to be like a cringe thing, but it literally just feels like you're an NPC. Yeah. Like the car is boring. It's yeah. got nothing going on about it. You accelerate, At and least it just in the maintains Land Rover. Speed. You feel like you have some sort of status driving that. Yeah, car. you feel like you have status until the bill comes for ten grand because the thing just won't start. Yeah. So, but yeah, those are the top three brands. None of us, neither of us, would buy. I mean, yeah. let us know down below. I I know there's gonna be people. My Land Rover has got two hundred thousand miles. It's reliable. Great. Good, for, good you. for you. <laughs> but <laughs> Don't buy all one. the other horror stories I've heard are not what you know you do two out of five out of reliability just let us know down below what you would would you buy one of these if you own a soul I, I'm, I'm sorry, sorry. Yeah. for for you owning it <laughs> but yeah let us know down below what you think and we'll see you in the next video